Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome Minecraft video for you guys today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Minecraft mob battle competition. This time, it's going to be between the one and only legendary Supercharged Godzilla up against Mecha Godzilla. So that's right guys, I haven't used Mecha Godzilla for a fight in a while, so before we get started with this, if you guys could do me a favor and help me hit a like goal, that would be fantastic. If we could hit, maybe let's try to go for, let's try to go for 7 likes, that'd be awesome. Go down there and slap that like button down there down below, and this chicken just keeps laying eggs. Okay. Anyways, for you new viewers who have no idea what these mob battle competitions are, we basically get two mobs and we have them fight each other. And um, we do best two out of three rules, which means we do up to three fights, but a mob just has to win two fights in order to win, and we realistically get to the third fight when there's a tiebreaker involved. So, let's get started. So to the left, we have Supercharged Godzilla. So look at look at it, guys. I always like the design of Supercharged Godzilla. Like, I just like the glow of it. It's just thermonuclear. It's just a completely different color, and looks super, super cool. And to the right... We have the one, the only, Mecha Godzilla. So it's been a while since I've seen this thing. It's literally a robotic Godzilla going through this cool animation. And all right. Not entirely sure who's going to win this. And I'm not entirely sure if they're both even hostile towards each other. Oh, there we go. Wow. Mecha's going right for it. Okay. Okay. Pretty insane stuff. Did a good amount of damage to Supercharged Godzilla already. It's going for some crazy punch. Oh no, we're about to see a Thermonuclear Pulse. Okay. Alright, it does nothing to Mecha Godzilla. Okay, that's actually pretty insane. Supercharged Godzilla got that health back though. Mecha Godzilla is using its beam attack. It's going for another Thermonuclear Pulse, but honestly, it, it, it did we get an okay amount of damage. Just not as much as you'd expect. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, they both stopped moving for some reason. Going for a heavy attack while trying to go for another thermonuclear pulse. It's doing this multiple times in a row, but that time Mecha Godzilla just did not take any damage whatsoever. So I don't know what the heck is happening here. Mecha Godzilla is kind of a beast, and there we go. It's using its atomic press, and this is actually doing a pretty good amount of damage to Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla is doing it back. They're both just doing a little bit of a beam clash. Mecha Godzilla having a little bit of a health advantage, and okay, okay, wow, they're both just beaming each other down. Supercharged ran out of steam, so did Mecha, and they're both going for melee. At this point, Mecha is just at a pretty big advantage. It's using its missile attack. Oh no, thermonuclear. I'm not sure if this is even gonna do enough. I mean, it pushed it back a little bit, I guess, which helps with avoiding the attack, getting a little bit of health back. Okay, this is a really close fight. But nope, 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 that was it, that was it, yup. I think the mistake there was Supercharger went for its Thermonuclear Pulse when it should have just gone for an Atomic Breath and maybe, just maybe it had a little bit more of a chance, but Mecha Godzilla had more health at the end, so... Yeah, Mecha Godzilla gets the first point. This was a pretty interesting fight. Oh my gosh, there's a huge cave down here. I'm so sorry for getting distracted like that, but I did not expect there to be a pretty big cave like that here. But alright, alright. First round goes to Mecha Godzilla. So, all right, that was pretty interesting. Let's go a little more further away, get a little bit more of a newer field, I guess, for them to fight in. And this time, I'm gonna put Mecha Godzilla down first. So, three, two, and one, Mecha Godzilla. And then a little to the left over here. Three, two, and one, Supercharged Godzilla. So I'm not entirely sure who's going to win this time because that fight was so close. But Mecha Godzilla always goes for the first hit, going straight for a beam, doing a pretty good chunk of damage to Supercharged Godzilla without Supercharged really doing anything back. Supercharged finally gets first hit in. We're about to get hit by a thermonuclear uh, pulse. Okay. All right. Again, not doing too much damage to Mecha. I feel like Supercharged just has to start using its beam attacks more. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no. For some reason, it's just going for thermonuclear attacks. I don't get it. It's doing an okay amount of damage, but, like, to take that beam attack head on... All right, they're both running back towards each other. Going for the melee. Going for another thermonuclear pulse? What? Supercharged Godzilla, what is this? You need to start using your beam, or, like, you're just gonna straight up lose. Okay. Alright, they're both running back towards each other. There we go, going for the beam attack. I feel like it's a little too late. Mecha's gonna go for the beam attack as well. Alright. 
this fight was a lot less close and uh, yeah no mecha godzilla straight up gets this point okay so we're gonna consider mecha godzilla the winner here but i feel like i just feel like supercharged godzilla could win if it just uses its moves correctly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get an end crystal because in the monster verse add-on that we're using right now if you use an end crystal on these mobs you can actually take control of them let me show you guys real quickly so if i put down a uh, supercharged godzilla here right click with the end crystal it just stops moving because i can take control and we're gonna put mecha godzilla over here and i want to see if it just did the right moves because i am going to be the one taking control if you know we could have just won so let me just get this battle started so i'm gonna start things out with thermonuclear pulse just to get a free chunk of damage in it doesn't do too much damage to mecha but you know it does push you away all right see you see mecha godzilla basically does not get damaged too much from that we're just gonna keep going with this we're just going for we're gonna stay in melee for a bit you know what? I'm gonna in initiate the beam clash. There we go. We both go for beam clashes. Which I'm not sure how much of a good idea this is, but we're both doing very similar amount of damage to each other. Our health basically stays around the same amount, and my beam lasts a bit longer. But the issue is, I think Mecha Godzilla do does heal that back up quite nicely. So, alright. See, you see, our health pretty much stays around the same level. So, there we go. I'm gonna try to go for a pulse. Just to push him away a little bit does literally almost nothing in compared to other attacks so if i go for beam we're both pretty much at a beam clash here and see how our health just stays pretty much at the same level yep yep so oh no oh no we're not we're not we're not hitting where i want to be hitting and there we go see it is possible to win as supercharged godzilla and it is really mainly because supercharged okay okay so they pretty much have the same amount of like um you know health and do similar damage to each other but it's because supercharge just keeps using the thermonuclear instead of the atomic breath it just kind of you know it just doesn't look well for uh you know uh yeah godzilla in general so pretty cool stuff though pretty cool stuff i knew supercharge could do it because they both seem to have very similar stats but hey Honestly, I'm pretty happy that the fights were pretty close because it did make up for an intense one. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys thought that, you know, Supercharged Godzilla could have just won if you just, you know, did what I did and all that. If you guys want to try this out yourself, by the way, every add-on I use for these Minecraft mob battle competitions are always linked underneath that like button in the description down below. So, while you guys are down there, if you guys could hit that like button as well, that would be amazing. Um, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos from me, and that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. And peace. Bye, guys. And we were pretty much stuck with these items now. Alright. A little weird, but yeah.